At the beginning of this section, we said that uh, scatter plots is one important application of lines and equations of lines. But we haven't done any lines or equations of lines yet. And, to, and this video is where all that comes together, as we estimate the line of best fit. The line of best fit is used to estimate the trend, meaning the direction or slope of the graph, of a scatter plot. It doesn't go through the points necessarily, but it certainly goes through the center of the points in the direction of the points. And the key point on the line of best fit that we're going to use to draw it is the centroid, or that x bar, y bar point that goes through the middle of the x's and the average of the y's. Once we have that centroid point, we need to estimate the slope. For our purposes for the slope, we will estimate the trend of the data. And when you take more advanced math courses, such as statistics, you can learn how to actually calculate the exact slope. Let's take a look at an example where we do just that. I've got a lot of data here for x's and y's. Let's first draw a graph of these points. If I graph these points, we've got 2 comma 1, 2 comma 3, 3 comma 1, 3 comma 4, 4 comma 3, and 5 comma 5. So they're definitely not in a straight line. I can tell they're kind of going generally up and to the right, so we probably have a positive slope. Let's go ahead and find that centroid, the key point on the line of best fit. To calculate the centroid, we first need to find the average of the x's. So I'll add up all the x's. 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 19. And there's a total of 6 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yep, 6 points. And 19 divided by 6 if we round it, is about 3.2. And for y bar, our average y point will add up the y's. 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 4 plus 3 plus 5. That's going to be 17. And when we divide by the 6 points, we'll get 2.8. And so our centroid, x bar, y bar, is equal to 3.2 comma 2.8. That's going to be our main point for the line of best fit. The line of best fit has to go through 3.2, 2.8. This is why the centroid is so important. Let's graph that. 3.2 is a little to the right of 3. 2.8 is almost 2, 3. So when we put that all together, we get our centroid point right about there. And it's kind of in the middle. It's in the middle of the x's and the middle of the y's. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of draw our line that slopes in the same direction as these points. And we're just going to kind of eyeball that general slope. And that line more or less goes through the middle of the points. And we're going to use this as our line of best fit. Now, to get the equation of this line, we need to know the slope of the line. For the slope, we're going to have to kind of estimate it. Um, so it looks like um, kind of goes through. We got a point here and a point here that hits the graph really nicely. So that's going to rise 3 and run 2. More or less, that's just kind of an estimate. And if it's off by a little, it's OK. We're just getting a ballpark estimate. So the slope's going to be 3 halves, or we'll just estimate it as 1.5. Well, we know that the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. We've got our slope of 1.5, so let's plug that in. y equals 1.5 times the x plus b. Now, we still have to find the b. And our strategy to find the b 
was to say, okay, we know a point on the line. The point that's guaranteed to be exactly on the line is our centroid point. We have to use the centroid. We can't use the other points because those were kind of estimated points, and they might be off by a little bit. So what we're going to do is we'll use 3.2 for x and 2.8 for y. That gives us 2.8 equals 1.5 times 3.2 plus b. To simplify a little bit, we're going to multiply 1.5 times 3.2. And that's going to give us 4.8 plus b. And so to get the b alone, we'll subtract 4.8 from both sides. And that actually comes out to be a real nice negative 2 equals b. It doesn't always come out nice like that. But uh, this time, it did come out perfectly to be negative 2. So for our final equation of our line of best fit, y is equal to m, 1.5, x plus b, a negative 2. And we're going to estimate the line of best fit that goes through these points as best we can is approximately y equals 1.5x minus 2.